What's going on everybody? So in today's video, I want to talk about how I became a developer in 13 months from not knowing anything about coding to getting my first ever development job. The reason I wanted to make this video was not to show off or anything, but to share my experiences and my failures and the events and emotions that took place to get to this point. And uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this. All right, so let's start from the very beginning. We were driving home from a family trip from Vancouver and my brother had recently just gotten a full-time contract as a dev while we were driving and he had just recently graduated from boot camp. So once I arrived home, I immediately went on the boot camp's website and I applied for the soonest cohort as possible and I applied on September 18th and the interview was on the 24th and it was for the October cohort if I remember correctly. So it, was, it, was, uh, it wasn't a lot of time before I had to actually pay the fees and everything to get in. So fast forward to about September 20th forth and I remember they had given me a brain teaser test to be able to test if I was ready for the fast paced environment of the boot camp and oh my god it was hard it was 15 questions and they gave me about 10 minutes to complete it so it wasn't that bad but the questions were really brain teasing they were teasing brain it was it was difficult I basically got four done and I don't think I got any of them right so safe to say I didn't get in that cohort that time. Basically, I was given a prep package to prepare and learn code and uh, just to get ready for the bootcamp itself. And I think I completed about 75% of it before the actual interview. I was feeling pretty good, pretty uh, pretty solid. I think I knew what I was talking about. At least I thought so, but no, 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 no. Now this time I was told that it wasn't going to be a brain teaser or anything they were going to give me. They are going to actually give me an actual um, coding test, a coding interview. And they were telling me to walk through some code, walk through some errors that might occur or tell me what was going to happen in this snippet of code right here. And um, again, this time I bombed it even harder than the last one. It was like I couldn't even answer the most basic of things that they had asked me. It was, For example, they asked me about looping numbers from 1 to 100 and if the number is divisible by 3 uh, to print something to the log as opposed to the actual number. I didn't understand what the hell the loop was doing better, let, let alone the actual if statement. So it was, it was, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. I did every single thing that they told me, uh, every single thing that they recommended me to do to prepare but I failed again. So I had to readjust my strategy and I told myself, okay, Arslan, if you want this bad enough, you're gonna have to live and breathe code, at least until you get into this thing. That's what I did. I told myself, okay, the only way, you, you need someone to teach you this stuff. You need a teacher to teach you this stuff. So I was like, okay, go on Udemy, buy a course. So I found a course and Udemy was called the Web Developer Bootcamp by Cold Steel. And oh my God, was it difficult. The HTML and CSS part were pretty much a cakewalk, but once the JavaScript came around, I felt like that was kicking my butt. I didn't understand anything. So what I did was I had to sit down and, well, I was already sitting down, but I was, I had to really focus and rewatch the videos on loops, objects, functions, and arrays at least 25 times each just to understand what they were. And then I had to practice them another 25 times just to be able to know how to use them. And so I repeated the same thing for all the other stuff too. And originally what had killed me, what was a weakness of mine, I made that a strength as soon as possible. So I tackled the challenges that they gave me in that um, boot camp prep course thing. And uh, I gave that another try and the most basic things I couldn't even get done. So at this point in time, my stress level is at a 10. I was like, what the hell? You went through all this time. You, you, you spent money to get this course. You went through watching all these videos. You went through all this practice and you still don't know what the hell you're doing. So fast forward to the actual interview this time. And somehow I was able to answer all the questions. I didn't know how I did that. It genuinely surprised me. I didn't really understand what was happening um, because I was prepared to fail and then try again for the next cohort. So I was accepted the next day and that really helped boost my confidence by a lot. I was like, all this work, all this time that I put into this craft, it finally paid off after just failing the last two times just to get into the damn thing. So before the boot camp had started, I had to keep the mentality going that if I don't keep living and breathing code, I'm gonna fail. So now we're in the boot camp phase. And I think this was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. So it was a 10 week long course and there was no particular time period that was the hardest for me. It was the hardest for me throughout the entire thing. Um, it was just so much information and although I did the Udemy courses and I thought I prepared, uh, it was just going through the speed of the first three weeks was hell. There was so much information, so it's so fast and I had already begun to fall behind in the first three days. 
So I realized that the way that I was going to get through this course is that I would have to be comfortable with the fact that I'd be staying in late and I would have to do a lot of practice while I'm there. So that's what I did. I came every single day at around 9.30 a.m. and I stayed until 9.30 p.m. or until 12.30-ish a.m. It wasn't exact time. It was just a range at that point in time and it wasn't the fact that I wanted to stay that late it was just the fact that I knew that if I didn't I would fail no questions asked so there were multiple points in time throughout the course where I wanted to quit so badly but I always had to remind myself why I was there why I was doing this why I wanted this so bad and it always felt like it was a battle against me versus me not me versus the code or anything but there was always there was one point in particular where I was this close to quitting the boot camp and coding entirely. So what happened was around week 7ish we had started the react portion of the course and I felt pretty good because I, I thought that this was the one thing that I, I would know enough that I could follow with what everybody else is doing and try to get on the same page this time. But boy was I wrong. So they had taught us many things in the react portion of the course that I didn't understand. The biggest thing of all was the components and life cycles and changing state and that just really sealed the deal for my imposter syndrome to come back and just be ready to kick my butt in full force. I kept asking for help in the littlest things that I didn't understand and that's no problem at all but back then I was just so out of it at that point in time for coding at least that my imposter syndrome just kept telling me those thoughts of like hey why don't you just quit? This is the one thing that you should know because you've done it before, but you don't even know what the hell you're doing. If you look at all these other people in this boot camp, everyone knows what they're doing, you, and you can't even figure out how to change the state of this boolean from true to false. So, I mean, there wasn't anything else I could do. I, I was just tired of it. I kept pushing for damn near three months just to get into this boot camp. And while most people just get in on their first try, at that point in time, I was learning a skill that I didn't even think I would even deserve to get hired for. So at the start of the boot camp, I was reading a book called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And there was one chapter about the what if mentality where like, what if you can pass this obstacle and whatnot. So I tried to apply that at that point in time in week seven where like, I didn't really understand what's happening. I kept telling myself, okay, what if you get through this you finish the boot camp and you get a job. What if you do that? That would be absolutely insane. I mean, that would every single thing that your your mind keeps telling you that you can't do, you would just prove yourself wrong in the best way possible by doing the thing. So I just kept telling myself that what if I get it done? And every single time my imposter syndrome kept kicking back up, I kept telling myself what if I do? It? What if I do? It? What if I get it done? Until eventually I got it done. I completed all three months of the boot camp on April 29th, 2019. And I was so happy that the hard work did pay off. All right, so boot camp is now done and there's no time to rest. It's game on, trying to find a job, trying to, trying to get paid for the skill that I just learned how to do. And that's what I did. I started applying like a madman to literally every single thing on Indeed, Google Jobs, LinkedIn. I found the title junior developer in any job posting and I just applied to it as soon as possible. And I also went to as many networking events as possible too, just to not to look for a job actually, just to learn the mindset of what other developers are thinking, how they do in the industry, what they're doing, what they're learning, what's the new thing going on. Because I knew that if I started falling behind, I would fall behind the curve and I would just be left behind and I did not want that ever. All right, so now it's been about four weeks since I graduated boot camp, and I've had a few interviews below my belt and all of them failures and just, just knowing my luck, I knew that I wouldn't get in, get a job in the first, second, third, fourth, or even the fifth interview. Um, but I was prepared to remember to tell myself, what if I get a job? What if I succeed? What if I complete it? And I knew that eventually just thinking like that, the luck will be my favor no matter what, because I knew that the, the hardware that I put in if I translate that to finding a job, that'll pay off as well. I don't know when, but eventually it will. So I keep applying and it's been about 12 weeks now since I graduated boot camp, and I still haven't gone past the technical interview portion of any uh, potential job. And now those thoughts keep coming back. It's like, 
why are you doing this? What are you doing this for? You're not good enough. Most people in your cohort have already gotten jobs. You're still out here you're looking for a job? What do you mean? The boot camp uh, has a graduation rate and finding a job within three months of 96% and you're, you're the last 4%? Are you kidding me? You know, those thoughts just kept coming back. And so I had discussed with my bro that if I don't get a job within 120 days of graduating boot camp, I would leave the province and try to find a job somewhere else. And so I graduated, graduated on April 29th, 2019. That would mean that I would have to find a job by August 27th, 2019. And I don't know if this is like a huge coincidence or not, but it's probably it's a huge coincidence, but I was able to find a job on the exact date of August 27th, 2019. And I signed my first contract to be paid to be a developer. So in about 1.083333 years, I became a developer without knowing a lick of code. And I truly hope hearing the story and all the failures that were involved with it gives you some inspiration, some motivation to face your own obstacles and get over your own obstacles that you're facing, whether it be in web development or engineering or whatever, whatever thing you're facing. I hope that this truly did help you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed making this. I'm probably going to make more content like this. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.